Hey folks, Nitno here. Today we are taking a look at building and repairing cars in Daisy. The goal of this video is to explain exactly what parts you will need to get your car up and running. Getting a vehicle started can seem overwhelming and confusing as a new player. Let's take a moment to look at each part required. You will need one car battery, one spark plug, one radiator, four wheels, and of course, gasoline. The car doors, hood, trunk, and headlights are nice to have, but they're not necessary to get your car driving. Let's take a closer look at these parts. Car batteries will usually come charged, but they can also be recharged with a battery recharger. Spark plugs do not have any special instructions, but they can be quite rare, so if you find one, make sure to hold on to it. Radiators require water, you can use a container filled with water such as a water bottle, canteen, cooking pot, or a jerry can. Tires unfortunately are specific to each vehicle. For instance, an Olga 24's tires will not be compatible with an Ada 4x4 tires. Gasoline can be found already inside jerry cans. Alternatively, at gas stations, you can fill up containers such as water bottles, canteens, cooking pots, and of course the jerry can with gasoline. If you plan on getting a car in Daisy, keep a hold of every battery, spark plug, and radiator you find. This will take up a lot of bag space, but it's a sacrifice you'll need to make if you want to get a car up and running. Typically when you find a vehicle, it will have a random selection of parts already on it. For the purpose of this video, I've taken all of the parts off just so we can start from a blank canvas. The easiest way to place parts on a vehicle is to open up the UI and walk around the vehicle getting as close as possible to the intended part you'd like to place. Let's start off by simply placing our four tires. Moving on to the engine, place your spark plug, radiator, and battery. Go ahead and add water to your radiator. Lastly, add gasoline to your vehicle. This is the bare minimum to get your car moving. As for the nice to have items, install your four car doors, hood, and trunk. This will help protect you and your car from gunshots. Also add your two headlights if you intend to drive your car at night. There you go, you now have a complete car to drive around the zombie infested wasteland. Let's take a look at repairing our vehicle. In order to repair the vehicle, we'll have to use a couple tools that will help us do so. You can now repair car doors in the metal exterior of your car using epoxy. For example, if I shoot a part of the metal exterior, I can repair it. If the part is damaged to a red ruined state, it cannot be repaired. To repair a car door, place the epoxy in your hand and drag the car door to combine with the epoxy. You cannot currently fix broken windows with epoxy. Using the pipe wrench will repair the engine if they become damaged, but you cannot fix a red ruined engine. The tire repair kit will repair a damaged tire, but once again, it will not fix a ruined red tire.
The cars in Daisy are manual shifts, meaning you will need to shift gears to go into reverse or to increase the car's speed. One warning I want to give, try to avoid going to fourth or fifth gear. Many of those crazy videos you see online of cars getting launched into outer space happen in fourth or fifth gear. Use fourth and fifth gear at your own risk, your mileage may vary. It really also depends on server performance and a couple other factors. Let's take a look at the current vehicles we have available. The Atta 4x4 is going to be your best choice for off-roading, making it an excellent all-around vehicle. This is the two-door vehicle with four seats, meaning if you have three friends to play with, they will have to fold the front seats to get to the back. This is not usually a big deal until your buddies start to get fire and they're trying to exit the vehicle in a hurry. It's one extra step where they have to unfold that seat and get out. This vehicle also has an extra wheel slot in the front. The Olga 24 is a stark contrast from the Atta 4x4. It is slow to turn and performs poorly off-road. It is slow to accelerate and feels clunky and slow. The Olga does have the largest trunk space with 400 cells. The Gunter 2 is currently the fastest vehicle as it supports 5 gears. This car handles well, but can slide a bit around corners. This is a common car to find and will provide you with a good all around experience. Lastly, the Sarka 120 is your average four gear vehicle. It handles well and is also a pretty good all around experience. This vehicle actually has the engine in the back of the car, as well as the battery and spark plug. The trunk is in the front of the car, as well as the radiator. Lastly, I wanted to mention where to find cars. You might be wondering that. I would just recommend opening up iSurvive.com, looking at the map, and then filtering all of the options off and putting just the cars on. That way you can check out where they spawn. Unfortunately, other people will probably be doing the same thing too. It might be a little hit or miss. All right, we have now covered the cars of Daisy. There are more vehicles in Daisy to cover that deserve their own separate video. Stay tuned for future Daisy content. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. As always, have fun in Daisy. Take it easy. Peace.